Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ryan aka okay, Dead Inside One here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video here. This is actually my first ScreenFlow video. So I just want, wanted to uh, try this out and see a little thing that I can show you guys how to do it. Um, keep in mind, I'm still new to the whole Mac thing, so this is kind of a big step for me to actually go through and show somebody how to do something on the Mac. Um, so, as most of you know, uh, Safari 4 has just released their beta, um, or Safari has released the Safari 4 beta, rather. Um, it has a lot of new features, but like this website here says, but not all are welcomed by everyone. Um, some just like the new tabs on top feature, um, and just little things that Safari 3 had that are no longer existent in Safari 4, and people want to go back to Safari 3 for select things. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unlock the hidden Safari 4 menu. Um, what it is is it's this tweaks menu that allows you to revert back to older, older things that were in previous versions of Safari. Um, one that I'm specifically going to do is this, the tabs on top. I'm going to make sure we get rid of those because I'm not ready for those. I, I like tab management and it's easy for me to have the tabs down here like on every other web browser I've ever used. So um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So what we're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go to pointum.com slash safari dash tweaks dot html. I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to just go straight over there to download that. Um, and we're going to go straight to this page. We're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to go to installing the tweaks menu. First things first, sorry this menu is for Mac only, so if you have Windows there is a solution for that. I don't have Windows so I'm not going to go through that. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to go to this archive where you see this right here. It says this archive. Um, we're going to go ahead and download that. So you're going to click it and it's going to be a really quick download. And it's going to be downloading a Safari Tweaks-2. Okay, so we'll close that out. Now we're going to go to Go, Applications. We're going to scroll down to Safari. We're going to click that, right click it, and we're going to do Show Package Contents. Okay, now we can close out of our applications here. Um, you see it automatically brought me to this because this is what I'm working with right now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we scroll up, it's going to be Contents, and then we're going to go to Resources. We're going to open Resources up. And then we're going to go down and we're going to find English.lproj. And then we're going to open that. And then we're going to go down and we're going to find MainMenu.nib. So let's open that package that we just downloaded called Safari Tweaks 2. And we're going to have this here. And let me go ahead and move these over so you can see that. We're going to be looking for this file right here, MainMenu.nib. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to actually copy this. And I'm going to copy Main Menu and then I'm going to paste it to my desktop. Yep, that way I just created a backup of that file. In case anything goes wrong, I do have a backup of that file so I can revert back to the old one. So now what I want to do is I'm going to click, right click, and I'm going to put move to trash. All right, and now I'm going to go into this folder and I'm going to grab the new one and I'm going to drag this over into this page. Okay, and we're going to be, let me make sure it goes in here though, and we're going to be right um, we're going to grab this and it's going to go inside there. All right, so we put the main menu, make sure it's in there, main menu.nib inside the english.tgib file. Or let's see what it is actually, or english.lproj file. So we're going to make sure we have that inside there. I will put directions in the description if you're not following me. Um, what it did is it pasted it into the bigger folder, so I just had to drag it into the smaller folder. So now that that is in there, we're going to go ahead and follow these directions. It's going to say replace it with main menu.nib from this archive, okay? This will modify Safari to show the new options. So we're going to close out of Safari. I'm going to hit quit Safari. And then I'm going to open Safari again. And then I'm going to go here and look what you got. You got tweaks right here. Um, because we go to Safari and then we got tweaks. This is the hidden menu. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the tabs. And then I'm going to go quit Safari again and I'm going to pull it back up and we've got tabs here so I'm going to go file new tab and you see where it opened it opened it right here um, so that's cool that it did that and uh, just some more lots of features that you can use with this um, so I hope that you guys found this useful and uh, I will put the links on the files in the video description so you can go download them for yourself um, if you have any questions or running into any problems uh, just let me know like I said this is for Mac only. Uh, Windows will not work that way. And then, um, you know, uh, maybe Windows has a solution. I think it said on there that Windows has a solution. So you guys can go check that out if you'd like. 
But uh, anyway, it's Ryan, aka Dead Inside One here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, some more videos coming soon, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.